Welcome to question number seven of the California state-specific Q&A review. Today, we're talking about subdivisions. Subdivision Map Act that creates uh, parcel maps, certificates of compliance, preliminary maps, final maps, all these things are a key component, a foundation of the California PLS exam. California is always building and California is always growing. So the California board expects you, the PLS, to be doing lots of subdivisions. And that's because it's California. Now, because of this heavy emphasis on subdivisions, you have got to know the Subdivision Map Act like the back of your hand. You know, you can go there and look at your statutes during the exam to get some help or to clarify something, but the basics of the SMA you have to have memorized. And if you don't have the Subdivision Map Act really down cold, it's, it's just going to cream you on the exam. All right. The call of the question states, a developer would like to create a subdivision. It is less than five acres, all improvements are in place, and the development is composed of six lots and one remainder lot. What are you going to do? We've got four choices. A parcel map, because it's less than five acres and there are no improvements. A parcel map, because it's less than 10 acres and there are no improvements a parcel map because there are no improvements required, and finally, a preliminary final map because there are more than five lots. We don't know, we don't know which one we need until we look at the law. Loving this video? Hit the subscribe button below. Be sure to click the bell next to it to get the latest prep videos before anybody else. We've got a couple of choices. We can do a deed, so I basically write a meets and bounds description for each of those lots. I file the meets and bounds description with the courthouse and I make the lots. 50 years ago, 100 years ago, this is how a lot of subdivisions were made. But don't think so today. Second, we have a parcel map. And a parcel map is like a final map junior. It's got less requirements, it's got less details, it's kind of like a very basic subdivision map. And if you have a certain criteria, the California legislature is going to let you do that. If it's a small subdivision and it does not require any kind of new roads, parcel maps will be just fine. And finally, we've got the preliminary and final map. These are the big boys. This is going to take some time. And what I always do is I assume that I have to do a preliminary and final map. And then once I make that assumption, I look for exceptions to the Subdivision Map Act that are going to allow me to get away with less. Where do I do that? I go to the sources. Pulled up my California Combined Statutes, which is published by NLC Test Prep and has every California land surveyor statute you need to know in here. And I went to my subdivision map act and I looked in there and it said that if I have a subdivision that is less than five acres and that small subdivision does not require any new roads, no improvements, then I can do a parcel map. And it's as simple as that. There is an exception which allows parcel maps. I chose the exception, looks good, and therefore I am going to pick A, a parcel map. Now, where did I go? I went to the Subdivision Map Act, Chapter 33, Article 5, and it said, quote, A parcel map, rather than a tentative map, shall be required for those subdivisions where the land contains less than five acres, each parcel abuts a maintained public highway, no improvements. And the remainder parcel really has no effect because that's not part of your new subdivision. That's, that's the remainder of. 
Want even more content for the California PLS exam? Join us for a complete online prep course that includes videos, handouts, workbooks, practice questions, and a full-length practice exam. This course has everything you need to pass the California PLS on your first try. Join me at nlcprep.com CA for more information.